Today we're doing something a little bit different. We're going to be hiking the Caminito del Rey, which is um, like a hike uh, perched like high on the cliff of a canyon like I think it's 300 feet above that used to be super dangerous but now it's pretty safe. So there's two ways you can do this hike. You can park at the beginning, do the hike and then you can take a bus from the end back to the beginning or you can park at the, be at the end and take a bus from the beginning to bring you to the, to the start of the tour. <laughs> And then when you, you're finished, your car is here is waiting. It costs uh, 250 euros each, uh, so you need some cash. Yes, because uh, you can't pay with credit card on the bus, but you could, uh, apparently you can buy the tickets online if you don't want to pay cash. Yeah. Or you could also do um, a tour too. If right. you want to do a full day tour, I'm sure you can get one of those. The bus leaves from El Choro, so the end of the hike, on the hour and the half hour. We got there one minute late and we missed the bus, so now we're gonna go drive to the beginning, otherwise we'll miss our time slot for the hike. Back down to the parking lot. On the website it says you need to uh, get here an hour early before your start time for the hike, which we did, and we're starting in five minutes and we're nowhere near. So we took a bus halfway, got dropped off at some type of restaurant, and now there's a sign that says it's 1.5 kilometer walk that way to the entrance. So we're never gonna make it on time. And you can only do the last 1500 meters on foot. Yes, so hopefully they're gonna let us in, I don't know. And the entrance is like a hole, like a tunnel. Yeah. In the in the wall. You can see some people up there. I think they're waiting at it. So this is the access, the main access. Camino Del Rey. And in you go. Oh, crazy. Look at that. All right, well, we made it out. That was a super long tunnel. Yeah. And the uh, start. Still nowhere to be seen. No. And our start time is now. <laughs> I'm predicting we get canceled. I think we'll be let in. Hola. Hola. Two? Two, yeah. Okay. okay. Gracias. Hola. Amazing. So these tickets, the reason I was so worried about missing our time is because these tickets are sold out like way in advance. That's the only thing we planned for and I bought these tickets over a month ago. And that was the last spot that was left for today and like the following day. So we planned our whole trip around this hike. So I really didn't want to miss it. I think we have to get a helmet here. You can always use your hat or cap instead of this, but the helmet is mandatory instead of the plate. So mandatory helmet on. For rocks. Okay, I'm ready. Let's rock. Okay, we push past from like the center, uh, past all the groups. The, the trail itself is seven kilometers long. Uh, it used to be back in the day very dangerous because there's no railings. It was a super skinny path and you just like plummet to your death. But now there's uh, like a controlled trail, uh, rail, uh, railings all the way along, fences, uh, supports in place, uh, and like a, a huge valley into like a, a flowing ravine. Looks really cool. We started at four, so we'll see how long it takes to do the seven plus kilometers. So even like standing on the pathway, it's super safe and stable, but it really gives you a feeling of uneasiness because you're so high up. There's a bit of spaces between the slats. You can see through. We're 300 feet above yeah. the ravine. It, it's really cool here. Yeah, it's cool. And you don't want to like drop your phone in oh, yeah. those cracks. Otherwise or you're done. You're done. There seems to be like a cave just coming up. You go down steps and then people are popping out on the other side of the rock right there. There's some steps. And oh, as we uh, 
steps on either side, yeah, but maintenance. we'll go down into the cave here. And as we walk, like we enter like these crazy wind tunnels. Oh yeah, and the wind like, is you feel... just like gonna blow you off the path. Yeah. And these stairs are super skinny. It's really a struggle with the groups because if you get stuck behind a group or within a group, it's really hard to pass because some of the uh, pathways are very narrow. So it's, uh, you gotta create some distance. The whole landscape is gorgeous. You have the river and just all the mountains all around. Oh yeah, it's like a endless views here. And we're following off of it and you can kind of see like over there, there's a bridge that connects those two mountains, uh, which is kind of like I don't know if it's near the end, but maybe like three quarters of the way. So it's been 43 minutes and yep. it, we're halfway. Yeah, according to the map, we're halfway. We passed six groups, six yeah. massive groups, and they all like wait for the next group to stop before they start the next section. So there's yeah. kind of like a group backup. Um, so if you're part of a group, it would take way longer. Cause but every... if you're, it's paced. So if you're, yeah, yes. if you want to go slow, it's the, the group is a good idea. But if you want to like grind through it all, uh, I wouldn't go in a group. It's also hard to pass them because yeah. there's some, some of the trail gets very skinny and people are trying to hold like hands. Like they hold hands and, and or there's like through. five people yeah, wide. And lots stuff. of grandmas there. Yeah. Um, but, but this is, this is not a physical hike by any means no uh, this is just like a, a leisure walk i would say but, but it's, it's stunning yeah stunning. picturesque every yes. the whole hike has been amazing views yeah. down into the valley high mountains yeah. there's like just it's awesome huge yeah. cliff tops a really really cool hike for sure yeah so there's a tunnel way off is like looks like a uh, a railway track that goes through the mountains oh we're coming up to some stairs to go up and on another uh, kind of like a uh, two by four stairs. Yeah, I don't know what you call it. An overhanging pathway. Again, it gives you a very uneasy feeling up here, eh? Sorry? Gives you a very uneasy feeling up here. Yeah, well, we're, we're pretty high up. Like that's the Like you can kind of see. Underneath would have been the old, the old path. Oh, there's the old path. Uh, you can't see it. They're a horrible angle, Ryan, but. So we're on like the walkway. There's this cool, these cool arches. I think that's part of the railway though on the other side, the train tracks. Yes, because uh, there's a railway near. Yes, yes, definitely. There's a, a hole right here yeah. where I think it's it's part of a bridge because there's a space on the other side. So it's the arches of uh, the support of the bridge. Yeah. And then it keeps... Uh, keeps going around keeps the corner going. here. Like we're very high up here. Wow. <laughs> Check out this hard U-turn here. And like the cliffs just go right up. Feels like we're, I don't even know where like compared to this like is. Like Arizona? I don't know. Like the... Um, you can see the, the old path underneath the oh, new path. Oh yes, you can better, see it really uh, well here. Oh see, come here. Sketchy, you can uh, see how sketch it is. See uh, right there? It's all crumbling. Yeah, all underneath there. You can see how narrow the path is. We're coming to like a lookout over um, this like gorge, I guess you could call it. And the wind is just crazy. There's like a oh. glass lookout. Are you going on that? <laughs> feels like it's gonna fall. It doesn't feel as it's rock solid, but it just gives you the yeah. the 
the impression that you're going to fall through it, but... I'll pass. Yeah. Oh, oh there's see the bridge behind over there, yeah. The bridge. That was amazing. Yeah. Oh, I guess you actually even cross it. I didn't realize that. Yeah, we will. This is where you you can cross there, Ryan. <laughs> Okay, so there's so. Uh, like a suspension bridge that actually crosses the gorge. It's friggin' like super wobbly. And like the wind is crazy. Well, that's what I'm afraid. I'm afraid <laughs> I'm gonna blow away. But uh, amazing view. And it like the bridge is like kind of bouncing a little bit just oh, with yes. like, there's about 10 people on it, but It's amazing, like the views are amazing. It's like. I know. Great place for rock climbing, I would think. Yeah. <laughs> to throw in a mix, there's now stairs going down, super skinny stairs. Uh, to like really push they're like, your. Uh, they're two by fours. Oh, there's even like a little waterfall over there. Across the way there, water's coming out yes. of that. And it's yeah, being it. blown by the wind. This really would test your heights. Like your, if you're scared of heights, this would be uh, like that's what we just crossed from over there. Well, I'm afraid of heights, but for the most part, it's been fine though. This it's is really like, height. It's just when you look down, then you really like, whew, yeah. you feel it. You feel it in your throat. kind of came towards the end. Oh, watch out, man. Um, it's the part where you can take your helmet off. Yeah, we're not at the end yet, but uh, I guess more or less. Well, we still have to walk maybe like one or two kilometers all the way to the, uh, the parking to go take the bus. But that was the last part of the trail there. Goes over top of this. This is uh, part of the train track. So it's a bridge that uh, goes into the mountainside. So we got a... Uh, we're back to where the bus, the bus pickup. So this took an hour and a half total yeah. from the beginning to the end. We just gave back our helmets and that will be our last video here in Spain. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.